Hello, everybody. I'm Sakamoto from NTT. I, I will show you some demos about our tools. So first off, uh, we have been developing a number of tools to enhance both SQL. Today, we focus on the operation, uh, picking up four tools, PG Stats Info, PG Armen, PG Reorg, PG Barcode. So let's start with the PG Stats Info. It visualizes, it visualizes database statistics. You can get visualized summary of your instance via web browser. No special knowledge on system catalogs, such as PG Stat IO tables, or PG Resonance sizes, or PG blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and no maintenance tasks are required to use PG Stats Info. And when the PostgreSQL instance starts, the agent modules also starts. And when you stop the PostgreSQL instances, the agent modules also stops. So no additional maintenance tasks are required to use PostgreSQL uh, to use PG Stats Info. You can get dynamic HTML report via web browser. This is a screenshot of the report. This is a pie chart of table sizes per table. And this is disk release per table. And this is a time series of the database sizes. The report includes more useful information, uh, such as most issued queries, checkpoint static, uh, most issued queries from PG stat statements, and checkpoint static six from probably the server logs, and uh, auto vacuum statistics from the server logs, server logs also. So I can start, uh, I can demonstrate, let me see you. I have running the Linux box, Linux on this laptop so I can get the browser And I, I get the summary, such as PostgreSQL version and the database encodings. And the database lists and the sizes. More detailed, more detailed uh, reports are available here and here. This is a list of snapshots. Snapshot is a collection of uh, the instances static six, uh, such as uh, uh, PG stat statements information or PG relation size, PG relation size information. So uh, specifying the two snapshots And I can get the dynamical HTML report during this time period. It includes database static six as a visualized graph time series. Ah, yeah, and this is transaction static six. Number of commits, number of rollbacks are shown. This is this is database size and uh, instance processes, disk usage per table spaces, disk usage per tables. This is pie chart and wrong transactions from the PG stat statement and heavily updated heavily updated updated tables uh, from the PG stat IO tables. Uh, yeah. So uh, comparison, you know, how many were caught, how many were updates? How many? Uh, sorry? Do you, do you have uh, statistics on caught updates versus regular? Ah, uh, yeah. Updates? 
Yes. Uh, this column shows the hot update uh, ratio. And uh, this is categorized by the ins types, SQL types, insert, update, delete, heavy access tables, low density tables. It is a uh, very important information when to execute vacuum flow. Check point activity from the server logs, auto vacuum activities, uh, function calls, static six, and more server settings. So you can get a visual summary of your instances very easily. This is a fast demo. The next one, PGDO. Sorry. PGDO reorganizes a table without blocking. When you issue a vacuum flow command or a reindex command or a cluster command, it blocks other concurrent queries. On the other hand, PGDORG doesn't block. PGDORG organizes, uh, recreates the table and uh, indexes, so the table sizes shrinks. So PGDORG is a good alternative of vacuum flow cluster in unstoppable systems. Now, let me show you. I have made an application, desktop application. This is an blue elephant. This elephant inserts a row every two seconds. <laughs> Of course, inserts were blocked by the lock. Uh, this, okay. When I lock the table, and the elephant inserts the table, PG bench accounts. So I will lock the table so the elephants get yellow and the inserts were blocked. Of course, the lock were released. Say I issue commit command. The insert were successful. Uh, inserts are successful. Successful. Okay, now I issue a vacuum flow command. Oh, sorry. I issue backing for page bench accounts. So the elephant gets blocked until I cancel the query. But when I issue a PG reorg command, other concurrent queries does not block. Yeah, it's not blocked. Before we issue a PG reorg command, Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. We we should check the database sizes of the table. Okay. This is sixty-one megabytes. Now I issue a PGR command. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Inserts uh, not never works, and uh, reorga reorganization successful. So let me check the database sizes again. Okay, it shrinks. Uh, I I have generated a ten percent of uh, unused. Uh, 10% of updates, so the shrink size is uh, okay. What is the application that you're running? Ah. <laughs> uh, this is an, uh, this is just a, a hundred line of uh, Python uh, using the PyQ, using the QT bindings. 
it's just uh, <laughs> just uh, 100 line uh, tools. <laughs> Do you have that posted somewhere? Because that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, this is a second of demonstration. Okay. Next, go to the third one. Third one is a PG Arman. This simplifies backup and PIT operations. Uh, I like the contrib to PG based. PG base backup and PG archive cleanup command. This tool also uh, simplifies backup and PIT operations. Everything related to backup is just a one-line one operation when using PGRMN. It includes full backups, archive backup, archive backups, deleting all the backups, and deleting unnecessary uh, archive blocks and everything. Uh, especially managing generations and the incremental backups are uh, outstanding features. When I issue PGRMAN command, it is, uh, it is the full backup is going go into the PGRMAN archives. And when you want to restore, it is just one line operation. Okay. Uh, okay. I will shut down the PostgreSQL immediately. Oh, sorry. I first back up. Set the environment. One line execution. PGRMAN internally issues a PG start backup and a PG stop backup, checks the instance has a table spaces. If the table spaces exist, and this command also look, 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 to, look into the table space and uh, back, also backups, everything is okay. And you can see the backup mode equal full. This is a full backup. And with server log, it, back, it also backups uh, not only the PG data, but also the server logs. Server log. Server logs. OK, it's gone. It's OK. It's finished. So I see the backup is archive is listed. Sorry. This line is the full backup. Uh, the time, the day time, and the backup size are listed, and the status is also listed. When I issue a PGRMAN validate command, it checks the CRC command, and the status changed to OK. This CRC is used when you restore the, this data. You can also back up with incremental mode in the same syntax and archive mode. It also in in one line. Check the validate and show. Everything's okay. Incremental backups and archive backups are very little size. What is this error in the status? Ah, yeah. Uh, probably this is, uh, this is uh, I, I, I didn't run the instances, probably. Ah, uh, this is uh, yesterday, yes, uh, yeah. Last month is 
demonstrations. <laughs> uh, this is an error. Uh, probably I didn't run the instances or something. So these are different backups over time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is today's, okay. today's, okay. today ones. Okay. I'm uh, sorry? Uh, when you back up, are you pointing to the ongoing operation ASA backup? Uh, yeah, ongoing. So uh. how, how do you use it? Are you using a PG dump? Uh, uh, you have your own logic or the backup that you're using? Uh, it's an online backup, not PG, uh, PG dump. Not PG dump. dump mm, not. Uh, it is an online backup uh, supporting the PITR recovery. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, update and insert everything is uh, okay during the during the database. Uh, no, no, no blocking. No lock at all. No lock. No lock. Sorry. Yeah, whole database. Uh, full data is stored in the. Ah, yeah. It is stored in the environment. Uh, I set the environment PG Arman catalogs. I can get the. Uh, Got it, okay. And who backup is uh, absolutely compatible uh, as a result of PG start backup. So you can restore without Arman. Probably today's backups are in this directory. I backup. I I I've done three backups, so three directories are shown here. Ah. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. So, yes. I just have a, a question. Mm -hmm. you, did, you did a backup while you got this little program running in the back that sends it and rolls into the database, correct? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry? You have, you have this little program here running, inserting, inserting rows into the, mm -hmm. into the database. While it was running at around 140, you did a backup. Now, let's say the database fails now. Ah, uh, so it's still is working. You do that next? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you can continuously insert the uh, database. You can con uh, concurrently insert it. And the uh, uh, restore point is uh, probably the. Uh, Physical backup will guarantee you a consistent picture of the database because it marks the time of where we started in the wall logs. So right. depending on when you started the backup, some of those inserts will be there in the recovery, but most of them won't. Right. And, and so if that if that that process fails and you do a recover from the backup when you restart that when you restart that program will it it'll start up at, at from what's where it's left off? It's just a program that's inserting rows in the database and has a row count, so it won't it won't be unless you But you have to do some kind of a roll forward in order to get Yeah, you won't I mean you'll have your backup from the point you started your physical backup, but you won't have stuff that's been inserted after that point in time. Right. That's all. Mm -hmm. The program will have to handle fail. Right? Does, does PGR man support using um, archive 
wall archiving? Yeah. yeah. So if you set that up, you can use this in conjunction with that to basically get a continuous backup. Mm -hmm. So you could grab your last incremental backup and then go to whatever wall log you've got and keep going forward from there. Yes. Does it, uh, would you do that calling PGR man from the archive command setting? Is, is, is there, do you provide a script that just handles that or do you have to kind of mm -hmm. set that up yourself for the... <laughs> Sorry. The, 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 the question is, how, how, how can you continue, continue to continue to back up while, uh, while segment? After, after you ask you get full backup. Because mm -hmm. The full, the full backup is say online backup, so it is a dynamic one. So, so, so we are not sure how we can how we can back up the wall after that. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, P, uh, PGR man. Uh, in the PGR man syntax, when you issue PGR man restore, the necessary uh, archive log will restore. Oh, see, so you, you do it on the restore side. Mm -hmm. Ah uh, no. Okay. So I stop the instances so the elephants get red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. P I will delete the four databases. Ouch. There is no base directory. PG Arman restore. Such is the latest full backups and apply the incremental backup and uh, pull out the uh, archive, log, archive log to the uh, uh, proper point and gener automatically generates the recovery conf. Here, base is restored and recovery conf is also generated. So all you have to do is just PG control start to restore the four databases. Uh, uh, recent versions are okay. Probably uh, at at least uh, eight point three or higher is okay. Four four databases. PG Arman uses uh, online backup. When you use online backup, the four database. OK, the, the last one, this is PG barcode. The problem is copy command. Copy command just succeeds or not, which makes, makes it very difficult to load a huge number of rows with a little portion of malformed rows. PG bulk load solves this problem. When PG bulk load finds some malformed rows, it puts them to the bad files and proceeds loading. So 99% of valid rows are inserted successfully, and the rest 
0.1% of malform rows are extracted, extracted to the bat files. It is very small text file, so you can edit the, uh, you can fix the data, and you can reload that data. In this case, what does mal is does malform basically just mean that this is stuff that copy would would uh, complain at because let's say it's an integer that's uh, that's malformed, or does this include does this include malformed with respect to constraints in the database? Uh, uh bo bo both. Uh, then this is an example. There is a CSV file, sample CSV. Japanese characters. <laughs> yeah, this is sad, sad rose is a Japanese character. Uh, this is an uh, comma separated files with three rows. Uh, which results in the two comma. But the uh, third line, this is only one comma. This is a malform data. So you cannot load, uh, load this data by copy command. But PG barcode, uh, using this control file, in the control file, you can specify the bad file, file pass, and uh, other options. The input file name and the uh, table name of the load type, quote, escape, and delimiter. Right? And we can specify the limit the number of the total rows. I specify the, uh, this time, I specify this sign three. So I can load using them by specifying this control file. Okay. I specify three rows loaded, so three rows successfully loaded, and one rows are malformed. So this is fast error. How do you handle null characters? Do you have a way to describe them in the, in the bulk of the file? Because in the copy command, you can say a certain character means null. Null. No. No. Null value. So how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you write null value? Null. Null. Null value. In your control file. Ah, yeah. Uh, you can also specify the null value by the, uh, to, uh, today I didn't, uh, didn't list it, but. So let me see the bat file. Bat file take is, yeah. This line is, is extracted. So the load is very easy using PG barcode. This is the last demo. OK. Other. Uh, we have developing another tools also. Almost feature available as open source software. Please try them and please let me get feedback. Thank you for listening.